Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Tuesday the 16th. These are the charts of the day. It's a nasty day on Wall Street, folks. No question about it. Let's take a look at it. After a big run-up, that's uh, seeing the market go up in multiple waves and then accelerate from uh, the end of December, beginning of this year. This is the way it looked. The NASDAQ 100 has gone from around 6,400 to 6,838 um, today. 438 points just in a couple weeks. And the S&P 500 in that same time frame has gone from uh, about 26.78 to 28.06. So a really big move on these indices. So um, let's take a look at, here's the pop, pop this morning and then the long pullback, secondary support, bounce, and then pullback. Tomorrow morning is going to be critical in my mind. The, the key number right now is 67, 67.05. Not only is that Start chart support with the prior high and the 50 period moving average on the hourly charts there on the NDX. But that's going to be key price support as well. 6,700 would be down about there. Right there. Keep, keep that in mind. Now on the S&P 500, the run up and the pullback has gotten us back to a level where it's going to be kind of important support in that 2760 area. And beneath that we have 2740. And so 2720. So every 20 points down from the 2760 area is somewhat of a support level. Let's go to the individual chart patterns. Marijuana stocks had a good pop in the morning. They pulled back, but ACBFF had such a big gap and ended up still up a dollar 32 or 16 percent today at five million and plus. I think this is one and two, and I think this is three and four need some time to develop. But sometime in the next week, week and a half, if it does, and if it may be tomorrow, but if in the next week and a half it continues to coil a wedge. And then pops through 12, we're going to see 17, 18. That's my target. On that same note, CANN, similar pattern, one, two, three, four wave. Wave four is developing in here. Over 12, looks to me like a $20 stock or better. This should be interesting. And lastly, my favorite stock, TWMJF, which went from when we picked it around 14, or even maybe it was even 17, but the damn thing went to 35 and doubled. And you can see the pullback. Now, what I'm also seeing here is this kind of an angle which if it holds could lead to move up to 40.45. All of this conjecture, there's a lot of selling going on. We don't know whether this is going to be just a snapback and failure and down she goes or not. ATHM, well, Auto Home has been phenomenal in the last year, year and a half. Breaking out in January of last year, pulling back and testing in April and running up in a one, two, three, four, and fifth wave is underway, well underway, but, but it could lead to close to 100 if the market doesn't fall apart here. <clears throat> Collegium, really good day considering the biotech got hammered. This was up a dollar eleven or five and a half percent. Buying was a solid six hundred and fifty-six thousand shares. It needs to be a little bit better than that, but I'm still looking for twenty-three, twenty-five, and twenty-nine going forward. Still, I don't know how big the short position, but it's very big. Court, another swing trade which broke out here uh, last week and then extended to the high today broke through. It closed above it, not great, but I'm looking for twenty-four and twenty-six and a half seven going forward with five point four. They used to cover FANH, boy, this is a really intriguing company. Look at the chart. Pop, pull back, pop flag, pop wedge. To me, I'm going to call this one, two, three, four. And the fifth wave, if it extends and if we accelerate, could very well take this all the way up in the 30, 35, or 40 range. It could be exciting. Keep an eye on it. FANH. A couple gold stocks started doing better today. GG popped, exploded to resistance. My next target's. 16 and a half, and then I'm looking at a run up potential all the way up here to test that 18 range. So 16 and a half and 18, my target's going forward, but it's been up for like two weeks in a row every day. So let's see if we can get a little bit of a pullback retest in that zone, 14 and a half, three quarters, and maybe get a run up to 16 and a half, something of that nature. JNUG also, with the left handed extended V and then a run up and a pullback, we have wave one and two, and wave three is underway. But there's resistance here. If JNUG gets to this level, you can take out the double top near 20 and a half. We can see 23 and 26 pretty quickly. If gold makes a run, this is going to be big. KL, my final gold for today. You can see it broke out of the little wedge and continues to ramp up. It was up another 62 cents, nearly 4%. Buying was a solid 727,000. Looks to me like it broke out. 1920 is my target. Another marijuana play is Kush bottles. And you can see how it exploded. This, I would not be chasing the stock, but it had much better relative strength some of the other stocks in that group and closing at the upper end of the range. That was up a mere 175 or 27% today. 
to the biggest volume ever traded in that stock. So it might be that we're at a short-term peak and it needs to pull back, consolidate, but momentum is strong. MYSZ, that's my size, software company. After popping sharply a week and a half ago, I pulled back sharply. But note where it pulled back to. The prior high here, the breakout point, is right where it pulled back to. And then it snapped back. Today going up another 24%, that's 52 cents. It's a low price stock, um, but we might get a run up towards four and three quarters next turn. SRNE, ramping. Wave one, two, three, and fourth. Fourth wedge, wedge has been broken. It's now running up near resistance. We can get it up through here. It's just a little, little bit above here at about six. We can get through six. We may see six and three quarters. And if it, if it ramps and really ramps, all the way up to seven and a half, eight. UVXY, significant move today, perhaps. Up a dollar eight or 20, 12 and a half percent on. 59 and a half million shares. I haven't seen that in six, seven weeks. That was the one day it popped there. The difference between this and that and this is that this closed at the upper end of the range on big volume. These closed at the lower end of the range after backing off the 50 there. My target is going to be now in that 11, 11 and a half range and then 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half. We get through that, you're on your way to much bigger numbers. So it's going to be very important to see what the market does tomorrow because it is going to be a wild ride this week, in my opinion. And lastly, VIPs on the long side. After we showed you last a couple you know, weeks ago that it broken out right there, it then stalled for two days and then boom, three days in a row run up on the sharp one. VIPs have gone from 11 and a half to 16 and a half in the last week. Perhaps at resistance and overbought, I would look for a pullback consolidation. Now we look at some of the boxer shorts that I picked up for today. AAOI. Well, as you know, it's pretty negative to me. And when you see a one, two, three, four, and that's, then it breaks down, I could very well see this make more downside progress. And at some point, this is a zone I'm looking forward to test. Somewhere between 22 and 25. If it spikes down there, cover your shorts. Well, it's a pretty negative looking chart. AEIS, a one, two, three, and a big fourth wave consolidation for the last five weeks at resistance. If it fails and rolls over, go short for a move to 55. That's 16 points. AGX smashed in December. Wedging for a week. Today it dropped 75 cents, but it might be falling apart here. And if it does, targeting 35.6 next. Checkpoint. It's still sitting on top of its neckline of the head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. The right shoulder being a big wedge pattern. I would wait to see if it cracks 100. We do, we do that. 93, 86, and even 80 are targets. CRL. Well, I gave you a short there. It didn't work. It kept extending and finally rolled over now after a big rising wedge formed. But I'm not so sure on this one yet until I see if it cracks this line. Then, there, then we're looking at 93, 85, and a lot less than that. Major channel's been broken. We kiss back. Rising wedge. Let's see what happens. Technicals are a bit too strong for me on this one. GCOS. Well, um, after forming a middle, a little mini head and shoulders top type pattern, and then a bear flag there and a bear flag here, it came down and broke, and then rallied right back to that that level and failed. Got smashed, big bear flag for six weeks, came down again and another bear wedge for six weeks, seven weeks. It's still in a downtrend. This is resistance. Anything over 31 would probably be a stop, maybe even 30. The point is, the rollover could take it down to 20. Heska. Well, it looks like a top. It feels like a top. Maybe it is a top. You can see the stair-stepping move down, the wedge here and the wedge there. This one looks like 70 and 62 are targets. MDCO may have broken today. It dropped $1.84, 6.9%, 6.7%. 6 more importantly, though, if this is a downtrend, you may see a lot more going for it lower towards the 22.3 range. If not... 20. MDSO also appears to be failing after it broke down and snapped back. It then did this. This is a large two-month kind of bear flag, but technically, actually, it broke out of it with not a lot of volume or technical, so I'm still thinking it fails and rolls over. PCMI just won't go, you know, won't stop going down. It's amazing. It's already dropped from like 32 down to eight and three quarters, and it doesn't look like it's done yet, does it? Next target, seven and three quarters, and then six and a half. RGEN broke today. This one broke $1.74, but so did a lot of biotechs. 
let's give it another day to see if this wedge here is is it anything under a 34 and it's because we're trying to fall into the high 20s our max or remax with a smack down wedge smack down wedge we got to get a fifth wave we're seeing 41 if it makes 45 out of course our rgb well that one reversed had a engulfing bar today a negative one down 230 feels like if it gets under 51 and a half three quarters it could be down in the 45 six range or worse so who the, is struggling struggling to maintain his level and if it cracks 43 43 and a quarter I'm looking for 38 and a half and 33. trade desk right at the apex of that wedge i've been showing you for a couple three weeks now this has been in process for two months so if this cracks look for a move of that nature down towards about 36. 12 points uaa rolled over from its bear flag and now it looks like it might retest the 12 range or worse uvv also cracked it looks like this one's headed to the channel bottom and lateral price support at 46. And lastly is wicks of current swing trade which is may have broken this rising wedge today we'll see it looks to me like well first of all i would stop this over 63 and a half four um or if you choose above the trend line which would be a little bit higher around 67. that's that's a tough call if it takes out 57 look for 51 and 44. and folks that's the long and short of it for tonight everyone have a good evening